now let's look at the reproduction organs. This specimen is a male. We know this because of this structure right here and this structure right here. This is actually where the sperm is made. What is this called? You can see inside this grooved area, which is seminal vesicle, and the ductus deferens, which is coiled up. What is this entire structure called? Sperm leaves this structure through this structure. What is this structure called? There are hair-like projections on the end of this structure to aid the sperm. Kind of hard to see. So I've gone ahead and I've cut open the buccal cavity. So as you can see, it's, it's large. And all this mass right here is all muscle. And if we look inside, there is a hard structure. What is this structure? And what is it made out of? So I've pried this structure open and you can now see inside there is another structure. What are these little structures in there? The yellow? So I've opened up this cavity a little more. I've taken off the top portion. You can see this structure a little better now. And then inside, this is the mouth. And that leads into this tube right here, which would be the esophagus. So food enters the mouth leads into the esophagus and travels, like I said earlier, through this digestive tube that sits next to this other tube that we've already spoken about. So I've opened up the cranium, which is hard cartilage, and I've cut the, the mouth and the esophagus and taken them away so that we can see the optic capsules. You can actually see optic nerves right here. And underneath all this mass down here is actually brain matter. It's all ganglion. All this is all brain. I've moved away all the internal organs to expose this structure underneath. Squids do not have shells. This is all that's left of their shell. What is this structure and what is it made out of? wraps it up.
up. We've taken a look at the squid's external and internal organs, and we're going to call it a day.